Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. When I'm in America, one of my favorite things to do and one of Jason's not so favorite things to do is go makeup shopping. Yay! So when I was in the States last week, you better believe it, this girl went shopping. I went to some of my favorite stores, including Sephora, Ulta, and Morphe, and I picked up products which have been on my wish list for so long, and I got some products that I didn't even know I needed, but I'm so glad that I got. So in this video, I'm going to do a complete haul reveal of everything that I bought. It could be a long one, so go grab a snack, settle in, and prepare for this ultimate unboxing. So let's go ahead and start with Sephora. Now, we do have a Sephora in Australia, but it's always just a nice treat to go in America because they either have things which haven't launched here yet or they have things that we will never get at all. So, I'm going to start just with some of the small things I got. I got the Too Faced Better Than Sex Birthday Mascara. So, this is, I think, their oh yeah, 20th birthday edition. This is one of my Holy Grail mascaras. I love it so much. So I just had to get it because it comes in this really cool glitter shimmery packaging. Yes. And I was actually in need of getting a new one because I had used my other one up. So it was the perfect excuse. Next, what did I get? Okay. Now, I've been wanting to try these eyeshadows for a really long time, so I thought this was a great opportunity because I could swatch it in store and see what it was really like. And I love them. So I got the Violet Voss Flamingo Eyeshadow Palette. Now, I will open this up just so you can have a look, but I will be doing some looks with this one in the very near future because the colours are incredible. If I can get it out... Okay, so it comes in this cute casing. Ta-da! Whoops. Oh my God, check out these colors. Aren't they so perfect for summer? Like this row here and this row here are screaming my name. I cannot wait to create looks with this. So beautiful. So that was one of the eyeshadow palettes I got. There are more. So the next eyeshadow palette that I bought is the Marc Jacobs Fantasine. Again, I'd seen it online. I didn't know if I really needed it, but oh my God, when I saw it, I knew I needed this in my life. How beautiful are those gold and pink peach shimmers? Oh, snap. So pretty. And, you know, while I was over on the Marc Jacobs stand, I thought I may as well go ahead and get the Fantastic Bronzer because, you know, need to foe that glow during this summer winter. So this is it here. Such a huge, generous pan. Oh my goodness. And it's the most gorgeous, gorgeous bronzer. It like blends out so beautifully and it's a nice natural look. It isn't too orange and it doesn't go on like cakey. I am in love. I feel like I got something else from Marc Jacobs. I did. I got the Marc Jacobs Shameless Youthful Look 24 Hour Foundation. Now, I know this isn't new, but I've been wanting to try it for quite some time. So, you know what? I thought, why not pick it up and give it a go? Now, moving on to foundation. I bought quite a lot of different foundation and base products because they haven't launched here yet, and I've been really excited to want to try them out. So, I got the Becca Skin Love Foundation. Now, this is the shade Noisette, and this is the shade that I will use when I am tanned, freshly tanned. This is one of the medium shades, and I haven't worn it yet, but when I do, I will definitely report back and let you know how it goes and how it wears. 
The next foundation I bought, which again isn't available in Australia yet, is the Cover FX Power Play. Now, I love Cover FX for base products. They do the most amazing job, and the shade range is phenomenal. So, I picked up the shade P50. So, that's for a pink undertone. And again, this is for when I am tanned and I have my summer skin on. Probably a little dark for winter, but. I'm really excited to try this one out too. Now, the others that I bought were the new It Cosmetics CC Plus Oil Free Matte. Now, I love the CC Plus Cream, the original, so I really wanted to try this out. But the beauty is that these come in new shades. So I got the shade Light Medium and the shade neutral medium so light medium is going to be more for my fair skin winter days and this one is going to be more for summer and when i get a little bit more color to this complexion so this has i believe it has or is getting released in australia really soon i've seen a few bloggers talking about it so keep a lookout for it but i will definitely let you know my thoughts on these two what else did i get oh okay Something else I got a little small of was the Bite Beauty Agave Lip Mask. Again, I know that this is available in Australia, but I've been pretty lazy. I haven't made it to the shops lately. And when I tried it in store, I was like, whoa, the color is so pretty. And I wore it a couple of times and it really is a beautiful, beautiful gloss. I'll pump a little bit out. Squeeze a bit out to show you. It is a quite thick formula, so it's definitely got that mask like. But oh my goodness. You can't see shit. So, this is in the shade Champagne, and it creates a really beautiful shine and shimmer to the lips while also being super hydrating. What else? Oh, last but not least, I'm a member of the Sephora program in the US, so I always keep my card on me, so when I go over, I can accumulate points and pick up things from the little selection of prizes at the front. So this time, I think I used 500 points, and I got this Bare Minerals pack. Super cute. It has a serum, primer, foundation, finishing powder, all over face color and a lip color. So I thought, you know what, this is a really good way for me to try the range. I've never actually used anything from Bare Minerals, but I thought if I was going to, this is going to be the right time to try. So again, once I've trialed some of these babies, I will let you know what I think. Next stop on our trip was to Ulta. Now, I love Ulta. It has so many brands, drugstore brands, high-end, medium. There is literally something for everyone. They also have hair care, skin care, everything you need, Ulta has. I didn't go super crazy, but, you know, I topped up on some of my favorites, including my favorite Ardell lashes. I got the Wispies and the Faux Mink in the Wispies as well. I love these so much. They are my go-to lash. I also picked up, okay, they didn't have my shade at Sephora. So when I saw the CC Plus Your Skin But Better Illuminate in the shade Light, I had to pick it up because I have been waiting for this to come into store for so long. And every time I go, it is sold out. So when I saw my shade, you better believe that I got it. I also picked up, now this was actually the main reason I went to Ulta. I wanted to get the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. Everybody raved about this concealer and it's about time I learned what all the hype was about. So stay tuned for my thoughts on that one. I also got a NYX Suede Lipstick. This is a nude shade. I have not yet opened it, but stay tuned. I will swatch it and share it with you shortly. And the last thing I got from there, which again, I didn't 
think I needed, but then I realized I've just run out at home. There was a Mario Badesco three pack of their facial sprays. Now I'm a huge fan of the rose water one, the pink one in the middle, and I haven't tried the lavender or the green tea cucumber yet. So now I can try all three. Plus, I'm pretty sure these are like a smaller, uh, they're not quite travel size, but they're a smaller version. That's not the big one. But I use these literally every single day. So the fact that now I can mix it up and use all different scents makes me very happy. So the last place we visited, which I didn't think we were going to get to because we were leaving LA and I didn't realize that they were opening other stores, is Morphe. Oh my God. So... Long story short, we were driving through Phoenix. Where did we go? Scottsdale? Maybe we went to Scottsdale. We were driving through. I needed to go to the toilet so badly. And I'm like, look, I'm just going to go into the next mall that we see. So we pulled into the car park. I ran into the mall, ran to the toilet, ran past Morphe. I stopped. I was like, <gasps> Jason's like, okay, you need to keep going. We will come back. Did what I had to do came back and what was in the front window and as soon as I walked into the store the Morphe and Jacqueline Hill vault collection oh yeah so again I had seen this on the gram I just kind of assumed that I probably wouldn't get it because I was nowhere near a store and I didn't even consider going online just because we'd been so busy and out and about so you know what I stopped in and got the vault. I got every single palette in that collection because you know what? Bam. That is why. Oh my God. As soon as I saw this, yes, bear believe it. This is Ring the Alarm. How freaking stunning are these colors? Oh my goodness. But that's not all. We also have purples in Bling Boss. How beautiful. And then we have, bam, this is Armed and Gorgeous. Now that khaki and yellow get on my eyes. How stunning. And the last one in the vault is dark magic oh my gosh so so pretty now these are so affordable so the vault worked out to be 45 us dollars or you could buy each palette separately for 15 but regardless that is so freaking cheap for eyeshadows and they are so pigmented and blend so nicely i will create a look with these shortly and i will show you exactly what i mean but I couldn't go to the Morphe store without getting some more brushes, could I? So what did I get? I got a new face powder brush. They're still in the plastic because I have not unpacked anything. I got a, another kind of flat shader brush and also another blending brush for in the crease. I also picked up the high impact highlighter because I'll show you why. This is in the shade extra and it really is extra. It is so, so beautiful. I haven't swatched anything yet because I've been saving it for the photos, you know, but for you, I will swatch this. How stunning. And let's just wipe that on the back here. No, I'm not flipping you the bird. Come in closer. Oh my goodness. That is like liquid gold, baby. And then the last thing that I got, and I promise this is the last thing. I mean, I'm not here trying to, you know, brag about all the things that I bought. Or show off but you know 
I just love shopping for makeup in America. There's just so much variety, so many different options. So when I saw the Morphe blush palette in the 8W, I had to get it. It was so, so, so pretty. Oh my goodness, those shades are stunning. This would be perfect for darker complexions as well. It's just a really versatile palette. I'm really excited to try that one out. So that concludes my American makeup haul. If there was anything that you saw that you'd like to see a review on or me create a makeup look with, definitely let me know in the comments below and I'll be sure to do that. And if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to join me on my beautiful adventure. What are you doing? Do you want all new makeup? Do you love the makeup? Do you love the makeup? You love the makeup. What's, what's that? Who that? Who that? Oh, that's bad. Okay, bye.